I've never heard of white phosphorus. In the military world, it looks like it appears to cause thick smoke screens. This can be very highly, highly flammable, so it ignites very fast, rapid spreading fires. Exposure to white phosphorus really depends on where you're exposed. On the skin, it can cause severe burns, very painful partial second degree burns, up to full thickness, so third degree burns. Smoke may actually release from the burning site. It's very highly fat soluble, so that means it actually can burn through the skin, possibly causing whole body systemic side effects. So systemic side effects, systemic like full body toxicity can be divided into three phases. The first phase, the gastrointestinal phase, occurs the first few minutes up to eight hours afterward. Shock, so the body shock during this phase can be so severe that you can actually die within the first 24 to 48 hours. The second phase seems very asymptomatic, so you think that you, let's say you survived those first 24 to 48 hours, you might think that you're doing okay and your body is actually healing, but slowly you are actually going to be experiencing multi-organ failure. And that's the third phase, and that can begin after the first four to eight days. Shock. Fluids, right? IV fluids, if you're able to get to a hospital. How do you treat the full body seizures when the body is going into shock? With benzodiazepines, if you have access to them. A lot of burn victims can have severe electrolyte abnormalities because the skin barrier, the overall tonicity of the body is compromised. Because this is so highly flammable, you can have your wounds dressed and then when you undress them, they can actually reignite as soon as the wound is exposed to oxygen again. That means even relatively minor burns can be extremely fatal. If you survive, extensive scar damage can cause contractures and limit your mobility and obviously quality of life.